So, Jackson Hinkle is able to trigger some shit libs on Twitter. He writes, We are uniting Marxist and MAGA to overcome the oligarchical globalists in the deep state. If you don't like that, enjoy your relevancy. Ben Norton chimed in, and he he responded by saying, by calling Jackson a grifter and saying, This grifter is openly calling for an alliance with fascists. No actual Marxist would ever do this. Hinkle is not a leftist. He's a LARP appealing to racists than colonialists. Globalists don't exist. It's right-wing dog whistle. They're called imperialists and capitalists. So, in response to that, um, Andrew Koryibko started a Twitter thread, and he completely annihilated Ben Norton. Ben Norton lost. He took the L. He got ratioed. And here's what he had to say. No, globalism and those who support it do indeed exist. It's, of course, an, an, an imperialist capitalist worldview, but also has a particular hyperliberal social cultural aspect associated with it. Moreover, most globalists don't self-identify as such, nor as imperialists or capitalists. In particular, some of the globalist variants of imperialism compete with one another at times over social and cultural issues. Take Trump, for instance. His related views weren't the same as Francis. Clinton, Obama, Biden, meanwhile, are more co closely aligned with the EU's as a whole. The EU and Poland are both capitalists, yet the first one imposed its supposedly universalist so social cultural views about LGBT and abortion onto the latter. Reducing the globalist concept into this discourse helps better understand intercapitalist social cultural clashes. Many in Muslim majority countries who'd be described as proletarian by leftists hold such views about LGBT and abortion in particular that they still agitate for better economic representation rights in accordance with those dimensions of Marxism while keeping their views. Now, I mean, Ben Norton, he doesn't care about historical context. He, he is the type of person who, who promotes imperialism in Latin America, who promotes colonial promotes colonialism and imperialism in countries like Latin America, China, and the DPRK. But what because what he does is he says that he, he criticizes he criticizes their social views without any context. And it's the he's the type of person who will just criticize social views in certain countries without context. He and the reason, part of the reason he does that is is racism. That that's why you hear him bash China so much because he's a racist. It, you see, you see Vosh do this, and you see Ben Norton do this. Ben Norton is a fake leftist who supports the imper imperialist white supremacist NATO world order. And the reason he spends so much time attacking and smearing people like Jackson Hinkle, like Jimmy Dore, is that he's scared of him. He he he. he that's why he spends all his time smearing Pete Jackson, because he was able to create a coalition of leftists, of Marxists, of communists, as well as people who are mega, people who are socially conservative, people who are libertarian, people who are paleoconservative. Something that Ben Norton will never be able to do. Jackson is, is forming a coalition, and people are waking up. People re have to realize you have to say no to the two-party duopoly. You have to say no to the military-industrial complex. You ha and the people are rising up, and they're g and revolution is coming, baby. Revolution is coming. Jackson people people like Ben Norton are going down. They're irrelevant. People like Jackson Hinkle are rising up, promoting communism around the world. So there you have it.